What extremes would you go to in order to live forever? Uh, Diary of a CEO Stephen Bartlett sat down with American tech entrepreneur Brian Johnson, who is working with scientists to achieve just that. Those are all the pills you take in one day. 111, because that's where the data led me. This is how you don't die. Brian Johnson. The man who spends $2 million a year to slow down his age. He's managed to reverse his biological age already. To an 18-year-old. Projected to live to 200. The only objective we have is don't die. I've opted into an algorithm that takes better care of me than I can myself. It sounds overwhelming in the beginning, but trust me on this. So my bedtime is at 8.30. And you had 100% sleep. Four months straight now. What about hanky-panky? Not after 8.30. Alcohol. Three ounces every morning with breakfast. For breakfast? For breakfast. My last meal of the day is at 11 a.m. And every calorie has to fight for its life. You were very kind in bringing me some food. Presumably this is what you eat. That's right. If you ask the body, what do you want to eat to be in ideal health? This is the answer that a gym made. That is a mushroom covered in chocolate. How fun. Wow. <laughs> What? My body's never wanted that. I don't know about yours. <laughs> and what about him saying he only has sex if it's before half past eight? We don't know oh. if that's at night or in the morning, though. Yeah, no, before so... bedtime. Oh, yeah. Before bedtime. 200 years. How exhausting. Mm. Oh, shot mushroom Would you make of it, Katie? Well, I mean, that's the thing. I mean, live... I don't aspire to live to 200, definitely not. But I suppose what he's saying is if you are going to live long, make sure it's being really healthy. And, and I think a lot of us fear living long, but the last few years being maybe painful yeah. or mm. uncomfortable. I think for me, I would go for quality of life because he's got kids, this guy. I'm assuming he's divorced. No one's going to put up with that. But I, I, mean, I think it's a bit of a selfish life because if he stops his um, final meal at 11 a.m., I don't want to live a life where I've never sat down and had lunch and dinner with my kids. Mm, yeah. You know, like for me, I want, I want to or live an ice to. Cream. Yeah, and just yeah. like me and my kids, we love on a Friday night having a packet of biscuits on the sofa, watching telly together. You're like, a slob. I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm a happy slob. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and my kids are happy. So I think it's about the quality of life. And the only trouble with this kind of lifestyle where you research everything and you look into it all, it can go on to health anxiety, where yeah. then like psychologically. Which he's clearly got. But you've got. Perhaps. Super healthy recently. Yeah. I mean, you're really on it. Oh, yeah, yeah. I have, but I'm paying the price for all my idiotic behaviour. But before I had right. children, you know what I was like. I yeah. know what So I like. do have health anxiety because, in a way, I kind of think I deserve it because of how terrible I was. So, yeah, I mean, I do everything. I do the fasting, I do gut health, I do yoga, I do weight training. You look incredible. You do. But then every so often we go to dinner, I have a load of lychee like, martinis. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. I'm only ever a hair's breath away from going <laughs> yeah. back. But that's Two before balance. the starter yeah. came, which I thought was very impressive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, yeah, I, you know what, I, I think... Yeah, that, that was very extreme. I can't wait to watch it, if I'm honest with you. And I, I d definitely don't want to live to 100, or, well, 200, 200. should I say. Not I'd eating chocolate-covered yeah, mushrooms. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'd like mm. to live to an age that at least I'm still healthy and have a quality of life, mm. unlike a long yeah. life, without a doubt. And I definitely, that comes into my mind a lot more because I grew up as a child carer and saw my mum go through many strokes. So yeah. that fear is definitely on me. And I think now, at this age, being 43, I know I'm a bigger size in, in weight and I know that I our job is so, you know, there's a lot that we have to stress. do. It's quite, it can bring on a lot of stress. I'm being much more conscious now yeah. um, of go, finding ways to get healthier, you know, being much more conscious of what I'm Would eating. you like a chocolate covered mushroom? Uh, yes, it's oh, Friday. No. Oh, thank Friday. You. So go I on, think it's. Go on, go on. Oh, These look a bit rude. rude. <laughs> but, the other, <laughs> but the other thing, like he said, yeah. wasn't it, yeah. which is for optimal health, this yeah. is what you eat. Why? But then you'll read something else and it will say something else for optimal health. Oh. Ladies, are we really yeah. going to do this? Oh, my yeah. God. Absolutely. Oh. Apparently, this man eats 70 Is pounds of vegetables a month. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to need Beyonce's flying toilet seat, I think. I'm sorry. Oh, my God, that is so good. I actually love it. Really? You that were so work. disparaging this that morning. That is nice. That's like milk tray. Mm. That's it. Mm. Here we go. That is so <laughs> good. <laughs> Honestly, I was 100%. I'm going to hate that. I love mm. that. Well, I'll have that as a There's lots here. Do you want no, some more? I'm, I'm fine, thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I would then put some toasted hazelnuts on top as well, I think. Can I just I've... put it out there, though? 
all this fear of death, like for me, I'm Christian, mm. I don't actually fear death in the way that this guy does because I believe in something after this life, you know, like yeah. that. You didn't know that. I yeah. think there's many lives to live. There's a life yeah. here on Earth, I think there's a life after, especially if you got, you're got into spirituality. I'm and hoping I think this that's is something... just the warm-up. <laughs> yeah, oh, uh, yeah. Really? just a warm-up. So, mm. I think, But I think when we're talking about quality of life as well, like what you were saying, Katie, it's not just about the things we're putting in our body, but our mind, mm. the energy, the people that we're around and how yeah, much we dedicate to happiness relationships. and relationships exactly. as well. Yeah. So Look at us sitting and that... chatting, eating mushrooms. I know! <laughs> <and chocolate. laughs> It's who we loved and how we loved back. You know, that's that's such a for me. That's a, like a number one. Yeah, it, I want to like... see how much this we're going to take in after us when we're having a large martini. <laughs> 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 well, I'll tell you what, I liked it I first, but now this. I'm just picking off the chocolate. And... <laughs> oh!